So as excited as I am to be hiking in my new down jacket, I'm starting to sweat. So I'm about to lose my jacket and put on my, uh, my Nano Puff. So a little less warm, but when I get to camp, it should be good. So also my hat's crooked. What kind of fashion style is that? <laughs> See, bright and yellow. Got my gloves hanging off my strap in case my hands get cold. Apparently my face is all red. The wind's really blowing up here. The weather report says 7 to 14 with gusts up to 23. There's been some gusts, so. But I think once I get off this ridge, it'll be better. And the weather forecast said it would calm down tonight. Anyway. No, a little bit, maybe ice. All right, so there's a sign here, looking back the way I came, it says uh, Hog Camp Gap, which is where I started, is uh, 2.2 miles. And my watch says it's almost one o'clock, so I've been about an hour. Now I have, I did stop and do some camera shots and then lollygagging. But, so I've basically been doing a mile every 30 minutes, which is a little bit slower, but I gotta go four miles that way to the shelter. So that's two hours more. So if it's just now one o'clock, two hours will put me right at three. But I don't know if you can tell, but that sun, it's a lot lower in the winter time. So I imagine about 4.30 is gonna be getting dark, so. I'll see how I'm doing. There's a creek crossing coming up, I think in maybe a mile. And uh, if I'm not filming it, I might just camp there and then hike back out. Yeah, it's just shorter, but it's just, it's just wind. I mean, it's a gust. I'm off the ridge now, but man, up there, my face is all red. 5.5 miles. I was wrong. So, if I'm doing a 30 minute mile. Whew. Three and a half hours. That's gonna put me. That's gonna put me there in the dark. Hmm. We'll see. I don't know how far I want to go. I want to get out of this wind, though. I know that. Alright, well, it's 2 o'clock. Um, I think I'm probably four and a half miles away from the shelter. Um, I've got more daylight than I thought I originally did. It's still kind of cold. Um, as long as I'm out of the wind, I'm good. But uh, <laughs> I'm still tempted, like when I get to that first creek crossing, that I'm just gonna set up shelter there. And then just pack back out the same way I came and just do what was it what did I figured 2.2 I think I've done another mile so maybe close to four miles but I had such a late start so we'll see trail looks pretty good can't see because it's the sun but basically the Sealy Woodworth shelter is four miles that way and uh, I'm at the intersection of the Lovingston Spring, Spring Trail, 2.7. So technically, I could go that way and get to the shelter quicker and then tomorrow morning hike out the four miles. It's two o'clock now, three miles, that's an hour and a half, and I'd be at the shelter. Or i do that way, do two miles. I got plenty of water, I haven't touched probably any of my water yet. Um, I'm just trying to think what I should do. If I do the Lovingston, I 
I'm gonna get there quicker. But I think it goes up on a ridge. And it's pretty windy today. But I got the clothes. And um, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'll do the ridge and then tomorrow morning, you know, I'll get up at nine or eight and hike out. I got more time to do the silly woodwork shelter. What do you think? Four, two point seven. I think I do two point seven tonight. Alright, so I made a decision. I'm on the Lovingston Spring Trail, but I just came over uh, Elk Pond Mountain. Could be wrong on that. But I've still got like a um, mile and a half that way before I get to the AT Trail. Well, I'm right here near one of these old forest roads, and there's a spring. Uh, right through right through here um, so I've got water there's plenty of firewood and I'm kind of down in a little spot here I'll show you so the wind the wind is gonna be blowing from this direction so I can just put my hammock up between these two trees and uh, block that wind out I think I'm gonna do that. Just call it, call it a night here, and and then that way tomorrow morning I hike out five miles instead of 7.2. It's cold. Yep, got a fire going. Put my hammock up, but you can see from the smoke and the wind that my hammock is not in the best position. I might have to put that. Put. Uh, this down a little bit try to get that wind so it doesn't go under and I should have been this way but earlier the wind was blowing this way but you can clearly see uh, actually now the wind's blowing towards me but anyway six o'clock I've eaten dinner cleaned up bear bags hung um, not much else to do except enjoy this fire for a little bit and then uh, crawl inside my sleeping bag but the winds died down it's not as bad as it was it's still blowing there's consistent you know in that direction but uh it's pretty nice out here fire's bright and you can see my face pretty good I'm awake now. It's five o'clock in the morning. It's 22 outside. I think the low was 21. It's 70, 71 in here. It's pretty warm. Yeah, 21 was the low. So, not bad. It's after eight. Um, I'm done. I ate breakfast. It was. It's too cold. I just ate a pop tart, which was frozen. Um, so water bottles frozen. I can warm it up, but um, I could have put it in my sleeping bag with me. But I'm good. You got five miles out. It'll warm up a little bit today. It's like 24, 25 right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start hiking about five miles, and uh, maybe eat another little mini breakfast in the morning. So, yeah. I'm all packed up, ready to head out. The sun's in my face now. I came over, I guess this is Elk Pond Mountain, and uh, I finally got sunlight, so it should warm up quite a bit. I stopped back there and took my uh, fleece liners off because I'm not sleeping anymore. I'm moving, I'm getting warm. But, uh, Wind's not blowing at all. It feels great out here. And this morning, or yesterday, whew, like every time I go around a corner, that gust of wind just hits you right in the face. But it's nice out here. It's quiet.
2.2 miles. And it's about 9.35. Not bad. About 20, 25 minutes per mile from the last place that I timed myself. So, get on the trail. Too. It's about 10:40, so I figure I'll be done by 11, and uh, got maybe another, you know, couple hundred feet, and I'm done. So that's a good trip. A little windy down here, but not much going on. I always like this spot right through here.